Studnicka Aquatics here. I made a good score. There is a local guy that was going to be moving and he had saltwater fish to give away. And so what I have is a yellow tang and two clownfish, look like percula clowns. So his water is 1.022 and I run mine usually at 1.024. I'm going to test it and I'm going to go ahead and start drip acclimating them. I know they're healthy. I saw his system. I mean, there's, they're, they're healthy, so I'm not going to quarantine. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and test my water and start drip acclimating them. I will go until I double the volume of water, pour off half, and do that probably three or four times at least. And then go ahead and put them in this tank. And it's big enough that, you know, it's 240 gallons. It should be a nice addition to this tank. The clowns are pretty small. I don't think my snowflake eel will bother them. So anyway, that's what I got going now and I will add more to this later. I have my drip acclimation system going now and basically it's just an airline tube with a hard piece on the end and then you start a siphon and then you use one of these little valves to adjust it and I have it going at a nice little drip. So I will let that go until that water doubles in that bucket pour off half and then I'll do that three probably four times and then I will dip them into the tank okay it has been about 45 minutes and I have doubled the amount of water in that bucket four times and then poured it off so they have been acclimated to temperature and if the salinity was a little different they have been acclimated to salinity so I'm gonna do the big release now and what I have in this tank now 240 gallon I have my uh, stars and stripes puffer I have my one spot fox face rabbit fish this damsel, I don't remember what it's called, but man, it's just getting huge, that black one there. And I have this large Atlantic blue tang, this little rusty angel. I have two of these cardinal fish in here that are getting big. And then there is a snowflake eel that lives underneath these corals, these artificial coral inserts. So by adding these, I'll be adding the, a yellow tang and a pukula clown. So hopefully they do well and nobody picks on them. They'll probably get chased a little bit. So we're going to release them now and I'll see if I can get this all on film and see if I can get them caught without too much trouble. Okay, here's the clownfish. And there they go. Nobody even noticed they were there. One's down there and one is up here. Okay, so now we're going to do the tang. Trying to catch a. There we go. So now, see if we can. And there goes the yellow tank. Well, they're kind of watching that one. So, but the tank is big enough that it shouldn't be an issue. I mean, hopefully they won't. They won't bother them too much. Um, get this thing to focus back in. So I have one of the clownfish is right there, and the other one is up top and where did and there's the little yellow tank cruising out through the back nobody seems to be bothering them too much there's going to be a little bit of a territorial dispute sometimes they say not to have more than one tang of but if you do make sure they're not the same color and i do have a yellow tang and <laughs> a blue one so we should be good and i'll keep an eye on them you know of course and make sure and if something would come up I could pull them and quarantine them, but catching a fish with a net in this tank is virtually impossible. So, And just from the commotion of adding fish and doing stuff, the fox face rabbit fish thinks that he's spooked, so he's he changes color at night, so he's kind of hiding right now. He's not sure what's going on. So, so anyway, I will do an update. Uh, the damsel's kind of chasing it a little bit, but it's a big enough tank. There's room for everybody. And I will do an update on this first. No, now Puffer, leave him alone. Puffer's chasing the clownfish and I don't want him to eat them. There's a chance that the puffer would eat one of the clowns and there's a chance that the eel would eat one of the clowns, the, the snowflake eel, but I hope they don't. And the guy had to get rid of them. He gave them to me. Nobody in this area has salt water. There's just nobody there other than me. So I took them and we will see how they do and hopefully they do fine. So I will do an update and thanks for watching.